between life and death, I mean, it holds everything in just a piece of paper. And it was just incredible how much I wanted to hold on to it. My eyes were like, oh, I studied it, and it was almost like, it was like, passed from one guy's hand to another guy's hand to another guy's hand. And my passport was different because it was red. So I could study it. I could keep track of it. But the other passports were Bangladesh because predominantly, the predominant um, um, nationality of these people who were congregated there were Bangladesh, so they're the green one. So I studied it, studied it, studied it, studied it, studied it, as it went to the top. And the guards at the top were putting stamps on it. And suddenly there was this rush of people that went towards the guards, except it was um, it was kind of put to stop by other guards. These guards suddenly formed lines and said, no, you have to wait. Because suddenly people started to panic, like, um, I don't know what's happening. Basically it was chaos. And um, my cousin just grabbed me and said, hold on to me. And he said, can you see your passport? So he gave me a bit of a push up. Um, actually, I go into his shoulder, I kind of started to look up. I said, yeah, my passport, your passport. I don't know where your passport is. So anyway, we said, listen, fuck, let's just get out of here. Let's just wait.